Hello there, I am Couch Cooper. I don't want to get you all excited, but I think we may have found a new gang beast. Four player, three player, two player, local co op, and online, and cross platform. And we've got some adorable playable characters. This is a two player local co op test. Haven't gone into the online or cross platform yet, and I will pull some people in to do this four player because this game is excellent. I've got it on Game Pass, and I am not regretting firing it up. I have been laughing my ass off. <laughs> This is a real-time join demonstration here. You can see at the top, we've got the four slots for people to come in. You can use keyboard. I only own two pads on my PC, annoyingly, but bang, you just get straight in. You get this little prison cell and you've got a breakout, which is just kind of the early doors tutorial. But yeah, just like Gang Beast, picking up weaponry, waving it around. You can pick up your opponent and throw them off the edges, but there's so much more depth than that game in this that it's kind of a bit of a showstopper. I'm very excited about it and we've got it in December and I've got it just in time to get it on my bumper end of the year list. Or I'm going to do my best to explain things. So it is versus, it's PvP, but we were trying to sort of work out how this game is getting its message across. And of course, you will start in a randomized map and there's loads of them. One of them was multi-tiered that I didn't get a fair job that involved a pickaxe, I'll tell you about it later. But basically we're trying to get the money which is given to us by icons on the edge of the screen or you may see it at the start and it will show you everything. So it's like a free for all, pick up what you can, smash what you can. You've got a moving out vibe here with the destruction mechanics and tumble physics. You're straight away familiar with what you can and can't do, how high you can jump, what stuff you can pick up, whether the glass is breakable. <laughs> throwing things at each other just doesn't get boring and then you find the weaponry and it's like holy shit this game just went next level So the scoring system works on how many of those loot packages you've got and then the game will say all right the escape door's open now and you've got to just rush into it and the people who are left if they're out there long enough the people that got in the door turn into police with tasers and they just come looking for you and you can steal the loot off them so you've got all of these crazy pvp elements into a game that on its own without them is totally amazing Four people in these arenas with all of this amazing stuff to use, it's gonna be off the hook and I cannot wait to get people over to enjoy it. Because that's another thing, is it, it's not overly complicated. And you do get this really cool scoring system at the end of each game to see which of the four or two or three people are doing good and just ruining someone's day. So the way out of this level is on that moving platform. And of course, you've got to commit. And once someone's on there, that's your sort of green light to shoot them off it. And of course, they'll drop their loot. So this just laughing everywhere it purposely ruining each other's plan it just gets so good And I think that's kind of what sold me and made me think, wow, this is gonna last me ages, is the maps and how they're made and what they've put in them to give you longevity on reasons to go back to this game. Like some of the drops, there's jetpacks, there's a lot of different guns, including a shotgun and a homing missile and a grenade launcher and a flamethrower. And it will also set that loot up so that there's a puzzle there that you've got to get your head around accessing that money. And then you've got to work out how you're gonna get said money into the exit it without causing too much attention but you can see who's got the most loot with the number on their heads so man what a joy to have this at the end of the year just in time for family being around and it also being not too violent you are barbecuing a few bananas but there's no major blood there's quite a lot of fisticuffs the whole thing is accessible for everybody definitely one for grandma and definitely one for the kids and definitely one for you the gamer you're gonna be laughing your ass off i've been couch coop and i'll see you down there